hello there. Humans, hippies, earthlings, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and if you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too. Welcome back to the channel on Bushka. Now, you're going to have to excuse me. The next few videos, if I haven't dropped already or they've dropped after this one, I have not had much of a chance to play in the last 10 days. Uh, you might not have realized this because I've been at Tankfest and then I got back and then I'm going straight away. And by the time you watch this, I'll probably be in Los Angeles for a, uh, a PUBG Mobile um, event. So that's kind of like, it was hectic. Tankfest was pretty hectic. Um, I had three and a half days travel time to and from and three and a half days in the UK. So it was seven days and half of it was in an airplane, which was great fun. Um, and I'm doing the same thing now <laughs> to Los Angeles. So please excuse me. I'm sorry. I'll try and I'll try and improve and be a better human. This is Hard Rocker in the WZ and his mate, Master of Hedgehogs <laughs> in the Lerva from the Adult Clan. I mean, I don't know what that says about the gameplay, but I'll tell you right now, this is a cracking game. And then we're going to have a wonderful uh, look at a Conway video. Now, I'll get to the Conway in just a second, but I want to walk through this one and talk about... That was a little bit nasty with the T-43, but let's be honest, the T-43 was screws regardless. I don't think he meant to do it, and uh, he's now got a little bit more cover. One thing this tank does do very well is it's kind of like a cross between a Glacial and an IS-3. Um, it does have a very strong upper glacis, and if you can get it like this side scraping, you can get a lot of bounces, particularly against low-end Rusky guns like that 175mm uh, penning. T-44. Well, it's close to 175. Anyway, there's the KV-3 over there. Now, he's got a decent angle at the moment as well. Although, I've got to be honest, the KV-3 feels to me like a tank that's been power creep just a touch. And we, this is this is quite an odd... Um, this is not your normal kind of occurrence on mines. This is... Oh, how about that Russian gun? That went three feet above the WZ. That gave him three feet's gun there. It landed three feet above him. That was insane, man. Like, it's three on six now. And uh, Master of Hedgehogs is at the back doing his best in the Lerva. As, and you can see there, he gets rid of the Tiger too. Well done him. Uh, nice shot on the IS-3. Good side scraping back into the T-43's carcass. So whatever that T-43 has done, and he might feel a little bit ill-used, he's certainly been instrumental as a, a little bit of armor for our mate here. Um, that IS-3 would have been far better off just cruising up and putting shots in the side than taking these ill-advised quick shots. And now the Lerva's coming up behind him and he's had to readjust his positioning. The KV-3's done an interesting thing there. He's managed to take that opportunity to pull right back uh, on that side of the mountain. And our mate here, Hard Rocker, does exactly the same thing. He starts pulling back, only he runs his ass into a little bit of rock. And then he worries about actually pulling back and getting stuck going over the, uh, the gun line there. So adjusts the second time around after moving forward and is now looking to get shots into the guys pushing into the back door. And this is going to create a very, very interesting dynamic. Nice bit of lag there as we see <laughs> the desync between me and the server uh, or hard rock on the server as that shot goes in despite the fact that the gun looked like it was pointing somewhere up to the moon. Uh, and it's now one on five. One on four. Things are looking better again. But look at the hit point pull. Uh, the hit point pull is not exactly super tremendously strong for the red team. And that T49, that was not a good idea. Uh, for us, 117, probably not your finest moment, buddy. Here's that KV3. He has gone all the way around. Oh, God. Look, it's the bell. Oh, it's the BL bounce. And sit down. And suddenly, suddenly we're a chance. So you're saying we're a chance. All we need is one derpy bounce from the KV3. Got it. And we can get another shot in on the slow loading T44. Again, the gun looks like it's pointing somewhere else, but it comes up and it works. And that's all that matters. The scoreboard, the Amigo in the WZ is staying hard on the hammer. The Promo is being fired by the KV-3. Not enough. All he's going to do is make it through another little bit of love here. Now, he's in the water. Not ideal. But wow, that KV-3 is struggling to get shots on target. And uh, our buddy here is doing everything he can to face, hug, and angle Really nice work there. Not a lot of gun depression on the KV-3. As long as he can stay close enough, there's going to be an awful lot of red for that KV-3 to deal with. And he pulls back, gets another bounce, and a miss. He's got the upper hand, though, now. Nearly 5K, he's saying, run the adrenaline. He does not even have adrenaline on the kit bag. 
Another bounce. Could you make it? More pressure laid and turn the bloody tank. How did he bounce that? That was a full 100% AP round. How did he miss that KV3? Too much side armor. Load that gold and have a result. That's pretty tense, wasn't it? That was a good one. It's a very good one. Really enjoyed that one. Uh, WZ112, the Hard Rocker 91 from the Adult Clan with Master of Hedgehogs. Well done. And uh, now we're going to have a look at a very, very interesting game. This is Spencer 2001. And I want to talk a little bit about the Conway first. This is driving it with the same gun that I use. This is the 120mm from the Tort. Uh, it's a little bit over 120. I think it's 124. And this is a tank that I'm having a harder and harder time not playing. <laughs> uh, I was talking to Meadsy at Tank Fest. We all think the Charioteer is just a gorgeous piece of kit. Like, it's pretty pretty monstrous with the Hesh rounds at Tier 8. But this thing just seems to provide great value for money. Like, you just seem to do well in this. And I want you to think about it from this perspective. If you could get a Tortoise that was faster and had a turret on it, would that be a bad thing? Because that's exactly what you got here with the Conway. It doesn't have any armor, mind you. Um, and it's not quite the uh, the post machine. And by post machine, I mean you can get the tortoise, the tortoise on a, an angle off a, uh, a little bit of cover, like a wall or a, a rock, and post it up. You can, you can get the gun traverse working and get really good angles on it. But this thing can legitimately spit out some nasty nasty damage like big numbers uh and the turret means you can set shots up a lot easier i i love the commentary from the the good guys here as it's going along like they're living and dying with with this um there's been some disparity in the deployment of the team let's just call it disparity um wtf from the panzer waffle tractor panzer four he's not happy. <laughs> WTF's all round. E75. Look at the Conway. This is what I'm talking about. He's taken a hit there. Fair enough. But he's put in nearly 1,700 damage so far. And he's done it for, what, the loss of, what, 300 hit points? That was a... a could have been a lot worse, too. That Borsig tried to HE. Didn't didn't land the shot. Things, things were good. Excuse me. A little bit of a yawn there. I'm pumping out the content before I head to Los Angeles tomorrow morning. Can't, I didn't want to go away much this year because I just spent a lot of time away last year and my missus wants to go on holiday and all this kind of thing. And now, now I'm going away a lot. And I'm like a homebody, man. I just like being at home. Just let me stay home. Anyway, back to the Conway. That's not a good spot to be in. But the ST1 derpsy shot. So good for the Conway and uh, our amigo here on the flank. That is not a good look for the Borsi. And he gets punished. Uh, and you can see... This is a tank that can really do bad things. Like it's, it gets left on its own an awful lot. And it, with the British uh, consumables, which Wargaming are very interested in, by the way. Wargaming are trialing a lot of consumable stuff. Uh, and I came up with a, a lovely idea. I called it testudo, which is the Latin word for tortoise. Um, and basically the idea being that like a reverse adrenaline where you do less damage uh, while Testudo is in effect, but you take less damage as well. The IS-6 informs the Conway that he's alone, and the Conway says, no shit. Um, <laughs> I just love that. Like, like it just IS-6 is like, hey, do you realize that you're alone? Like, everyone's gone. We are boned, says the IS-6. <laughs> Ford, hot dog. Like, GG says it's just... I love Blitz. I love Blitz for the apathy and the disgust and the just the the general disbelief in chat that anything good can ever happen to you and your team, that you can ever get carried or something. Good luck, buddy, though, says the uh, Waffle Tractor. And I like that. Good on you. You're the positive human. Yup, says Ford Hot Dog. Good luck, buddy. And this is exactly why I love this tank. Sneaking around that corner with a turret pointing right means it's very, very easy for you to get a shot. Sneaks another one in. Again, the turret is where it's all at. And suddenly that SU is a one shot. And if he gets up quick, oh, misses it. But the E75 hits him. So that reveals where the E75 is. Play smart is the word, word to the wise. 
Still missing a tank there. Oh, it bounces him. Gets a bounce in reply. This is crazy stuff. Oh, it takes a big hit from the back. That was a HE shot. Now he's on the reverse. But look at where the red guys are. They're all in front of our Amigo here. And he's got the DPM. Oh, the T-34 blows that. He's got him on a reload. This is another shot in here. Get a track, get a track. He does. And now that turret. Look at the turret working overtime. As the SU desperately sneaks back across the line. Trading damage for distance. Spencer 2001. He knows he's in with a chance here. He's got to clear this T-34. He's trying to drag another shot out. What does he do? Does he go hard? Does he go... Hard? God, right, he does. Boom. Gets a bounce. But he's still... Probably going to win that reload. Oh, adrenaline on. This is going to be close. Just gets it in. 5,787 damages. Reverse, reverse, reverse. Take the hit. Who cares? Eat a big bag of phalluses. And it's GG's for the Conway. Well done, Spencer. Great game. Lovely work and great support from the team. Until next time, boys and girls, I love you. I hope you're enjoying yourselves. If you want to become part of the Patreon community, it's patreon.com forward slash bushgrownblitz. And if you just want to hang out with your wang out, go and join the Discord server. Links in the description below. Until next time, bye for now.